Hello, my name is Kevin and I'm the experience manager at Uni. And a question that we get from people when they first start making pizzas is about getting the pizza off of the peel and into their oven. This is what we call launching. And if it sounds like something that you've found tricky before, don't worry, it really is an easy skill to master. As well as getting lots of practice and just naturally getting better at launching your pizza, I've come up with a few tips that will get you off to a great start. I'm going to use one surface for everything I do today. I'll use my uni peel to stretch my dough, add toppings and launch my pizza into uni. If you're using a wooden peel or a perforated peel, or if you're prepping on an entirely different surface, all of the tips that I share with you will still be useful. And we're going to start by looking at the flour that you use. We always use high quality 00 flour, and I recommend that you do too. This is a finely milled Italian flour and is the gold standard for pizza dough. It makes dough that's easy to work with, stretches beautifully, and has a great texture and flavor. And now that you have the right flour, you need a great recipe to match. With some recipes, you can end up with a dough that is too wet, and that will cause your dough to stick to the peel. The Uni Classic dough recipe is simple and delicious. I follow it every single time I make pizza, and it has the perfect consistency and texture. After you've made your dough, it's time to start stretching pizza. Dough is easiest to stretch at room temperature, and so if you've cold proofed your dough, give it at least four hours to get back up to temperature. If dough's too cold, it'll be hard to work with and it'll spring back on itself. On the other hand, if your dough is too warm, it begins to sweat, which acts like a glue between your peel and the dough itself. You'll also find that warm dough stretches really far, and that's when holes and tears will appear. On that note, my next tip is to keep your peel and your ingredients at room temperature. I actually use two different peels when I make pizza. I have a prep peel and I have another peel that's the warm peel for turning and removing hot pizza from uni. This just means that my prep peel is always at that perfect temperature to get the next pizza in the oven. Now you're all set up and ready to stretch out a beautiful pizza. Before you do, it's important to flour your hands and the surface you're working on. I like to use a generous sprinkling of flour on my peel. The most common reason for dough sticking is that there's moisture between the dough itself and your peel. So before you add any sauce, just check that there aren't any holes in your dough. If there are, you can simply pinch them together and close any gaps. When you get to this point and you think that you're ready to add your sauce and toppings, just stop. You can admire your beautifully stretched pizza, but it's also the time to make sure that it's moving freely on the peel. So when you get to this stage, always, always, pick up your peel and give it a shugo. That's just Scottish for shake. If it's moving freely, you can start making your pizza, if it's not, you simply pick it up and add a little bit more flour to the peel. And now you are ready to add toppings. We always say that less is more here at UniHQ and I love really light toppings. It's easier to get your pizza off of the peel when it's not being weighed down by heavy ingredients. When you are adding sauce, just be careful. You don't want any of it to get onto the peel to act like that glue. Now that your pizza is stretched and it has your beautiful toppings, it's time to get it into uni. At this stage, just be conscious of the fact that if the dough sits out for too long, it will begin to stick. This is just because the sauce begins to seep through the dough and it'll cause a gluey effect. There's no need to rush or panic, but just stretch out your pizza when both you and Uni are ready to cook. Last but not least, we have the hovercraft technique. I do this every single time I make pizza because it helps the dough get right off of that peel and onto the stone with ease. To do this, you want to lift one side of the base and give a gentle blow of air. You can see that it creates some air pockets underneath the dough and it also helps excess flour to reach those areas that are sticking. The hovercraft technique is my secret to the perfect pizza. And that's all there is to it. You will now be a master at launching your pizza. Just remember to use the right flour and to follow our recipe. Get everything at room temperature before you start. Stop, check and shake your pizza before you add any toppings and then if all else fails, you can use the hovercraft technique to lift your dough off of the peel. If everything fails, you can always make a recovery calzone.